Post Staging Academy. Just wanted to talk a little bit about getting your business started, your home staging business started. And I've got uh, 10 quick tips that I just wanted to run through with you all. Um, so what is it going to take to get your home staging business up and ready? Well, we always uh, start off uh, with brushing up on our design skills. Certainly when I started my own home staging business, uh, there wasn't any home staging training at that time. Um, so I uh, took an interior design program. Uh, the only problem with interior design, it is very different to home staging because home staging as well as requiring that passion for design and an aptitude for, for creativity. Uh, you have to think on your feet when uh, you're in a design dilemma. Home staging is about maximizing the value potential of your home without spending a fortune. No one wants to spend a lot of money on a house they're about to leave. You only get back about 40% of that value uh, of what you spend. So it, the ability to spend that money wisely is really, really important. And what you're looking to do is find the changes that are going to create the maximum impact uh, for every dollar spent. If you know how to get an expensive, classy look on a budget, then you've got some of the skills required to be a home stager. Take a home staging training program or an interior design course, uh, but make sure that you know what home staging actually is. The heart-centric entrepreneur, it's really important that we have a kind heart and empathy with our clients. Um, you'll need to be firm but kind and uh, bring your client along the journey with you. Uh, if you alienate them, um, it's very likely that they're not going to implement the work and your service won't be effective. Another thing you need to look at is building your portfolio. Uh, in this business, if you don't take before and after photographs, it never happened. Building your portfolio is vitally important in demonstrating your capabilities. Clients need to see actual results. Now, how do you do that? How do you get clients when you haven't got clients? It's a bit of a chicken and egg scenario. But think about redesigning a space in your own home. Um, that of a friend's, or do your first couple of room stagings for free in return for the homeowner giving you a review and take pictures of them. Better still, take a video of them telling prospective clients what it's like to work with you. You also need to know the various services that you will provide and what you will charge. It's vitally important that you know what's included in the scope of the work that you've been asked to do. Now, some projects will only require staging advice and a consultation, and the client themselves will do all the work. You have to document each step by step that they need to take. Now, other projects will be more complex. The seller may ask you to do all the staging work yourself. Set out clear expectations on what's included and what's not and have a set pricing structure and service definition. It's an absolute must if you're going to be taken seriously in the business. Now, look for services. Uh, the, the services that you're going to provide and occupy property is going to be very different from those of uh, the service for somebody that is uh, presenting a, a property that's not lived in any longer. It's an important consideration in determining if the house uh, will be occupied while you're staging. In cases where the home is occupied during staging, we recommend not to bring in your own furniture and accessories into the property, but instead simply redesign the space using the client's own furniture and maybe purchasing a few new accessories for staging that could then can be reused when they move to their next home. So how to deliver to clients? You need to determine your business process from the moment the client contacts you, be it via phone or email or even Facebook, all the way through to the completion of the staging where the big reveal takes place. Start with an initial consultation to meet uh, and review the property. Based on that consultation, you then can provide the client with the next steps. Um, whether or not they're doing the staging themselves, or you can quote them uh, so that you can do all the work. Detailed recommendations, resources, 
deferred maintenance that needs to be completed, overall design concept of the property all needs to be documented. Now, you can also quote for each of those steps. Now, once that quote is received, you can enter into a staging contract detailing the terms. Keep everything in writing, and this is a really important part, prepare a contract, then schedule the staging, which usually takes place within a few days of the initial consultation. Depending on the size of the house and the scope of the work, staging usually takes place the day uh, or two after any deferred maintenance tasks have been completed. You also need to understand the real estate market in your area and create spaces that have a higher perceived value in your market. Know what your buyers are looking for, for when they're searching for properties to buy in your area and for that type of property. The more you know about what buyers want from that type of property, the easier it is for, will be for you to design the space that will appeal to them and have what we call a higher perceived value. You'll also need to start working on building a strong network of business partners. Develop a network of relator related uh, businesses that you will be working with. They could be a painter or decorator, a gardener, a handyman, a property developer or even an estate agent. Great resources help you understand the market and help you to deliver a better value of service. Another thing you really need to think about is think about storage for your clients. If people are downsizing, you will need to help them reorganize themselves, get rid of the clutter, reorganize their belongings, and you have to have really sharp organizational skills yourself. If they grow out of their existing property and they're wanting to move up the ladder into something bigger, they may well want to keep all their stuff, but you will want them to clear things out and open up the space. So think temporary storage companies where you can lease a unit for a month or so until the property is sold. Make sure you know those companies in your area and they can also help with boxing up things before the move. And then also think about storage for your business. As you grow your business, you may decide to purchase certain furniture and accessories, uh, pieces that your clients can use. Uh, plan how you're going to store these pieces, whether you're going to create a space in your garage, move your business out of your home and into a storage facility. Bigger home staging businesses own a majority of the furniture and all of the accessories. This takes more capital, but it might be a service you want to add on to your business later. And then the final question is, is being a business owner right for you? You will need to understand what it takes to set up a business, how to register your business, how to set up for paying taxes and paying for business insurance. And you will need insurance, especially if you're putting things into people's homes. Um, you'll also uh, need to manage the, ministers, uh, the business administration, as well as learn about marketing your business and dealing with your clients and chasing payments. You'll need to learn how to keep track of income and expenses, do bookkeeping or pay somebody to do it for you. Starting your own business isn't for the faint hearted. And there's only three things you ever need to do on a daily basis. Deliver to your client, market your business and control your costs. If you think what you have, what it takes, get as much help as you can, because this is a lonely path. Believe me, I know. If you'd like to work with us and uh, so that you're not actually on your own as you embark on your home staging journey, then we'd love to work with you. So sign up for the Home Staging Academy programme. We'll see you next time and uh, happy staging. I'm Tina Jessen from Home Staging Academy. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.